Well, it's Emily Rand with ESPN Esports. I am happy to be joined by victorious EG top laner Huni, who just absolutely kind of stomped 100 Thieves with his Hecarim in game three. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I actually want to start there just because Hecarim is not a pick that I've seen a lot uh, mm -hmm. in other regions. It's been played a little bit, I believe, in Russia, and I've seen one LPL top laner stick mm -hmm. with it. But other than that, you're the only person playing Hecarim. Um, and obviously, you didn't see success with this pick the other day. Mm -hmm. So why did you guys think this was a good pick going in today? And how did it feel to have your team believe in you that you'd be able to win with this? Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely today to pulling out at the game three and like, uh, which is I haven't, uh, I haven't succeed, succeed with the previous match. And yeah, I mean, I needed a lot of the confidence from my teammates and coachings. And which is, I mean, I was playing well in practice, and even what I, what even I played in, what I played in flight quest was not like, uh, was not like Hacker was a bad champ, something mm -hmm. like that. It was like more about like team was not really decisive enough that what we needed to do, and we we're making a lot of mistake compared to today, and that's why it looks kind of worse. And yeah, I mean, that's why I, I could, uh, you know, I could, I could pull out like at the game three like kind of confidently it was, even though it was like even blind pick and yeah i mean even though we had yumi too so like worst cases even though like i'm full behind i can still play like you with yumi and you know, which is like pairs really really well so that was the one thing that i just picked it and probably here kind of was like one of my you know kind of represent represent pick i will say it's like if you if you think about my my champion, there's like GP, there's Rumble, there's like Kakrim, those kind of things, like one of this. So it was like kind of easy for me to actually just pick it and play confidently. So one thing we've seen from you that's also characterized your play style is that you are always willing to TP in to help your team. And you're very decisive about it, uh, specifically in bot lane. Um, so how do you feel like that's helped EG since you got bumped up to the main roster? And what do you think your play style as a top laner has uh, done for this EG team? Yeah, I mean, there was a point that uh, today probably was a, uh, I got full behind a lot, which is, I just, I was, I was just playing for kind of team, like not like really playing for like my lane and just like playing for kind of team fight as even like draft. It was like morally, morally like that, even though I could like play a lot like hard corner, but I didn't choose to because like, I knew we have a better like we have a better team at the same time. There's an AD carry, which is my you know bang. So it was like kind of easy for me to pick just like, you know, play for team comp and just build around that way. And especially Dennis, I think he's been playing really great. He's like he's even been like better than before. So I think that's why it was like kind of easy to play it out. And even for me, like, I didn't really, you know, have to hesitate. Oh, what do I need to pick? Like, I was, everything was prepared, trying to help bottom, trying to help mid, jungle, you know. It was, like, easy, easy solutions. <laughs> um, For, I have to ask, just because it feels like everyone in the community has been talking about how good or bad Renekton is. So since you are a top laner, I have to ask you, how good of a pick do you think Renekton is right now in this meta? I mean, it's good for top laner for sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you do having fun, but it's just comp competitively, like, you're not doing well. So I can't tell that's, like, good champion, honestly. I got, but I would say it's just good champion for blind, that who can't mm -hmm. really find a blind pick, because it's, no matter what, it's a decent pick, like, has a really strong lane face and pairs really well most of jungler. That's why I think it's been most common kind of blind pick and also i think if you're playing really well with your mid prio or like support move i'm pretty sure you can just roll over enemy top lane and whatever they play like for sure but you know but you can't roll over me that's the thing yeah. right. so that's it it was you they yeah. just they can't keep you down i mean i can't okay. <laughs> i mean even though they're just killing me once like it doesn't really change any game so um, I, find, I nearly say i find a dime once and i'll just keep you back no worries boys you know this is true. I mean, it's a, that has also been characteristic of your play style, like over mm -hmm. the years. Mm -hmm. um, I know you talked about this in other interviews about how, like, when you first came to EG, uh, because of uh, Dignitas, because of 
the fact that you're an academy, you're kind of depressed uh, before you were bumped up to the main lineup. So just how are you feeling generally now? And uh, how, do, how do you feel like you've coordinated with the roster thus far? Um, I mean, I'll say definitely more pressure, of course. It's mm -hmm. main roster. At the same time, this is related between the qualifying wars, which is like, you know, one of the biggest deal in the year. And, you know, like, I have to deal with that. Like, I just have to win versus my pressure at the same time. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really depressed, you know, like, I just trying to be happy more. I'm playing with my, I'm playing with, you know, one of my best friends, which is Bang. Like, it may, it's really comfortable just playing this team and, and, you know, no one hates me and I, I don't really hate anyone. So that's the, that's I the hope good thing. Not. <laughs> that's the good thing. Um, and then what do you think, like, cause obviously you mentioned there's more pressure um, with the larger playoff bracket. You guys are still vying for a spot at worlds for North America. How does like, what does EG have to improve to make it to the world championship? Um, I think right now we just uh, not really good at playing as a team, I'll say. Mm -hmm. Since we're like, we've been playing only like two months, I'll say. Maybe it's not even two months, like it's like almost month. So it was like pretty tough to get like used to for each other, like for between each other because the other, compared to the other team, they've been only playing for like almost a year, like more than a year too. So. From there, there's like a lot of southern touch, but I would say since we, you know, 3 0 versus 100 Thieves, and I think that's going to be really good, you know, the wave that we can actually go uh, get on there and playing for wins. Yeah, right. that's going to be, that's going to be it. All right. Well, all the best to you uh, and EG. Um, good luck going forward. Thanks for talking to me today. And for more League of Legends coverage, keep it here on ESPN Esports.